Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I'm going to be unboxing and installing the New Weir Triangular Wall Mount Boom Arm. This is going to allow you to install a bracket onto the wall for camera and lights or any kind of other thing you would want to have installed onto a wall. For instance, I have a hair light above me that uses this exact boom arm and brings my light straight up above for, uh, for hair light. So let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing and install. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside of the box. Like I said, I've already installed one of these, so hopefully we'll be able to get this one installed without any issues. Packaging is very minimal. I kind of like that whenever it's something like this. Has a little, uh, comes with a card that I accidentally ripped, just showing you how you can get in touch with them if you have any issues. This product comes with concrete mount screws. I don't have a concrete wall, so I can't use those. And here is the boom itself. Let's go ahead and take a close look at all of its features here. Let's start off by taking a closer look at the mounting plate. As you can see here, it has lots of different holes drilled in here so that you can mount this in multiple different ways. I am going to be using a single stud, and so I'm going to be using these four holes here as my mounting uh, holes. But you can always um, put this into sheetrock or concrete wall. Okay, if you move up to the next bit here, it has these locking nuts that have the nylon inside, so you can turn this, and it actually is pretty tight, which is what you want in this kind of unit. It's easier to move once the extended boom is out and this is on the wall. And then you have got a handle over here and it does have the option to push the button down uh, so that you can adjust the handle location based on everything else. You're not gonna be busting your knuckles on this. But anyway, if you loosen that up, it will allow you to move this triangular piece up. So you can basically have it anywhere in 180 degrees on uh, two different planes, if that makes sense. So with that loose, we can move this up to where we want it. Let's go ahead and loosen that up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way over here into that direction. And then when you want to lock it down, you just take your handle here and cinch that down and it will be locked into position. Now, you can either install it like this or like this. I kind of like this right here for my setup because I'll be able to put this pretty close to the ceiling and not worry about uh, this triangle piece here. Okay, moving on down to this other end here. There is a handle that you can unscrew here and that allows the secondary piece of the boom to come out has a 51 inch total extension. So you can lock that back down and we move on to the very end here where the camera can be mounted. Hopefully you can see this well. There is, let me turn it around, another handle that can be unscrewed here. You have to unscrew it a pretty good bit and that will allow this piece here to come out. And this has your quarter inch or three eighths inch uh, screws here, very handy. And what's really cool about this end attachment here, uh, so I typically use the quarter inch thread for most of my equipment. It can be either put in the end or top or bottom, which is quite handy. And I'll show you on the light that I have above me here how that is gonna work. Uh, so for my camera setup here, I'm going to want it on one of these so I can cinch that down and it will lock that into place. Now you'll notice that when you unscrew this, this can spin freely. So if you have a light that needs to be off to the side, you can easily just unscrew that and move the position over some. In order to get the boom arm installed on the wall, I'm gonna use, like I said, those middle screw holes. 
And the only tools I need are a drill or an impact driver, and I've got a level to make sure it's straight up and down, and then I'm gonna be using some two and a half inch Torx head screws. Here's the other boom I was referring to earlier that's going above me with a hair light. So uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. I want to put it right about here. And so what I'm gonna do is simply turn everything over to the side so that I can access that hole there for getting this installed. So I'm just going to hold it up on the wall and then use my impact driver or drill to put a screw in. Before I put that screw in too tight, I'm going to use the level to make sure that everything else is exactly where it needs to be here. So just staring at my level bubble. That is really on there. So now I can simply swing this out, use my adjustment handle here, and then can bring this one out. And now my camera can be put on this boom arm and it will be nice and secure. And here's what the final product looks like whenever it's installed. Comes down here and I'll have a ball head on this end so that I can adjust it the camera will be facing where it needs to be. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me show you one more time what it looks like to adjust everything. So loosen that up. You can bring this up here and tighten that back down. And then the whole arm could be swung over. Let's say I want to do a shot with the camera from above. I can just have this here and come down like that. And as you can see up top with the other boom, I've got that light up there and it is doing quite well. Now for my honest thoughts on the new Weir triangular mount boom arm. I paid $87 a piece for these and so far they have done quite well. I really like the one that's over here for my hair light. And of course I just installed the one for my camera, which I have not used yet. And so far, I am pleased with the purchase. I'm glad that it comes with multiple holes where you can either install this into sheetrock or in line like I did on a single stud. I don't exactly remember what the weight capacity is on these, but it holds this light right here perfectly. No movement whatsoever. And I anticipate that there will not be any kind of shake or movement on a camera whenever I have this locked down properly. So, in my opinion, as I've used this for a couple of weeks, it is quality and I think you would be happy with it if your camera or light is a decent to uh, low weight. If you want to check out these new rear triangle wall mount boom arms, that's a lot to say, I have an Amazon link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, so I will get a small percentage of your purchase and you will pay normal price. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Tools Taking Gear channel. This is the very first video, and I am super excited that this channel is up and running. All right, I'm Seth Johnson, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.